So this is what the outskirts of Kiev, not the center, but just outside looks like. Very quiet, eerily quiet. And we're gonna go into the metro right now to take a look what the situation is over there. This right here is what the metro looks like. It's like a bomb shelter, pretty much. And I think even deeper as we go, there's gonna be more people. Look at this. Today is supposed to be a very tough day here in Kiev. Very, lots of things to be expecting today. And this is the metro platform. It's just full of people resting. Crazy, I don't even expect it to be with so many people. So here we are in kind of the center of Kiev, going towards the center. I'm actually going to my office because I want to grab my stuff in case I need it because I'm definitely not going to be working out of the office for the next few days or weeks. So I want to get my stuff and then we need to buy a couple of things at a pharmacy very quickly and then we want to get back to where we are living because the center is not supposed to be very safe today. That's where a lot of uh, military machinery is coming to today. So as we get closer to the center, look how eerily quiet it is. There's nobody. Nothing is working. There's almost no cars. Let's see if we can get there quick, get our stuff and get out and go back to the outskirts of the city. And this is the center of the city. Look at this, nobody's here. People are leaving with their bags, suitcases, one way or another. It's so quiet, you know, it's like the calm before the storm. Okay, I emptied out the office because I don't know when I'm gonna be back. So now we are back, we evacuated the office, uh, nothing is working, the um, ATMs are not working, there's no way to get cash out, so we're going to be relying on our credit cards for now. And so we're going back home uh, to plan the next stage of action. And as you can see, there are people that are coming back with suitcases, I guess they are either arriving to this part of the city or they are uh, they decided you know there's no need to uh, uh sit in the metro station because there's you don't really hear a lot of um explosions in this part of in this part of the city thankfully but on the other side of the street there are people that are going into the metro so it's kind of like people coming and people going we are gonna sit this one out at home because unlike the other parts of the city we did not really hear a lot of explosions thankfully in this part of the city and furthermore there's not a lot of military installations here for exception that big antenna you see that big antenna over there that's considered a military installation but i don't really think it's much of value to anybody at this point so we're gonna see we're gonna sit this out see what happens you hear that siren that's the siren of explosions so we got to get somewhere safe quickly so we are back home right now and 
It's been a crazy day. We did everything we need to do. But before I continue telling you about the situation, I just want to say one thing is that I still can't believe it. We still can't believe this is happening. It's like a, it's like a bad dream, you know, because uh, over the past six, seven years, even like almost eight years, we have been desensitized to the idea of war. There has been this conflict for a long time. Nobody has expected that there's going to be a full on invasion. And Ukraine is being invaded from like five, five different sides, you know, from the north, northeast, east, southeast, and south. So it's not just, you know, from Russia, they're coming from Belarus, they're coming from Crimea, they have um, uh, paratroopers that are being, they're descending in different parts of Ukraine. They want to drop paratroopers here in Kiev and the, 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 Russian, uh, the Russian army is already in Kiev in different parts of Kiev. So I still can't believe it because yesterday uh, I woke up, I checked the news and Marina tells me the war has begun. And I'm like, war? Okay, so, you know, they're going to fight for it. You know, they're going to drop, they're going to stop, they're going to have their talks and everything is going to be solved. But no, this is a full-on invasion. There's no doubt about it. This is a full-on invasion of another European country. There's just no other way of putting it. And so today we, um, I got everything from my office, um, you know, because I don't know when I'm going to come back. Nothing is working. And, you know, this is a serious situation. We got everything. We tried to get some cash, but the ATMs are not working. And we wanted to go to a pharmacy, but all the pharmacies, all, most of the pharmacies are closed. The ones that are open have these long lines. And so we asked ourselves, is this a necessity? And it's not a necessity, so we just skipped it. We're home right now. There are sirens all over, which means there's some kind of activity going on. And uh, we have a metro station right here. And so if, if it you know becomes uh, difficult, we're just going to go over there. As you, as you saw in the video, there's a lot of people there. And so, and another thing is that yesterday we ended up buying a ticket on railways, on a train to Western Ukraine. And there was so close we barely were able to get a ticket for tomorrow and so if everything is well if everything is you know it's it's still functioning everything works out we're gonna get on the train tomorrow and go to western ukraine but right now you can't buy these tickets like it's sold out a week in advance so we could have got you know if we acted earlier if we knew if we knew this is going to be as serious as as it is right now and let's put it, let's be honest, nobody knew. Nobody expected something like this. Everybody's in shock. But, you know, it is what it is. So um, we could have gotten a ticket same day or the next day. But we ended up uh, getting a ticket two days in advance. So we are going to, we have a ticket for tomorrow to Western Ukraine. And from there, we might, you know, cross the border somewhere else. That's kind of the plan right now. Let's see, right? Things are changing. It's, you know, the situation is rapidly evolving. You know, let's see what happens, right? It's just, it's just crazy what's, what's happening in this country. And, um, you know, let's just hope for the best. Uh, let's, let's hope for the best and let's just hope everything kind of works out in one way or another.